The APEX system allows pilots to create and define waypoints. Pilot entered waypoints can be entered directly into the flight plan as temporary waypoints or saved to the aircraft custom database for future use. Pilot entered waypoints saved to the custom database can be displayed on the iNav map by selecting PE waypoints in the aeronautical drop-down menu. They are shown using the square symbol along with their name. Temporary waypoints are entered directly into the flight plan and exist only in the active flight plan. The ability to create pilot entered waypoints can be useful in a number of situations. A pilot entered waypoint can be defined using various methods. The method you use will depend on the situation. In the following example, ATC has instructed us to proceed outbound on the Gallup 330 radial until we intercept the Cortez 200 radial inbound. This can be done easily by creating a waypoint defined by the intersection of the two radials. Click on the Gallup VOR in the waypoint list and select Amend Route. In the after box, enter the waypoint in the following format, Place Bearing, Place Bearing, or PB, PB. The place is the reference fix, and the bearing is the bearing from that fix. The values are separated by slashes. In this example, we'll enter GUP330 followed by CEZ200. A waypoint will be created where these two radials intersect. The APEX system will assign a name for the temporary waypoint. The name will contain the temporary waypoint symbol, the method of definition, in this case RR stands for radial radial, and a sequence number. In the next example, we are flying towards an airport for a visual approach to a runway without a currently available instrument approach. To help with the scent planning for the visual approach, we will create a waypoint 5 miles and 1500 feet above the runway. This method can be used either to create a temporary waypoint in a flight plan or to create a pilot entered waypoint that can be saved in the custom database. In this example, we will save the waypoint in the custom database as a pilot entered waypoint. The waypoint will be defined by a place, a bearing from that place, and a distance. To create the waypoint, push the info button on the MFC. The show dialog box will be displayed and the object tab will be selected. The first step in creating a pilot entered waypoint is to name the waypoint. Click in the enter identifier field and enter a name using up to five characters. In the define waypoint dialog box, enter the place, in this example it is KSDL. Next, enter a slash followed by the bearing from the runway. In this example, we are planning on landing on runway 21, which has a heading of 212. We will enter the reciprocal of that, which is 032. Lastly, enter a distance of 5 miles and click on Enter. The waypoint will be created and shown on the iNav map with the square pilot entered waypoint symbol. We can now add an altitude by clicking on the waypoint and selecting Cross. Select Altitude and enter an altitude 1500 feet above the runway elevation and click on Apply. In the next example, we need to create a waypoint at a given latitude and longitude. We will also save the waypoint in the custom database. However, it can also be created as a temporary waypoint if desired. Push the Info button on the MFC. In the Enter Identifier field, enter the name of the waypoint. In the Define Waypoint dialog box, enter the latitude and longitude without any leading zeros or spaces. For more information on the lat-long entry format, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. Push Enter, verify the coordinates, and click on Apply. The waypoint will be created and can be added to the flight plan as necessary. In this example, we are on an arrival and have been instructed to cross 10 miles prior to the powder waypoint at flight level 210. 
We can input this crossing restriction by clicking on Powder and then Cross. In the Cross dialog box, select Pass or Prior To, and then select Prior to Powder. Enter 10 miles in the distance field. Select Altitude At, enter Flight Level 210, and push Enter and Apply. A temporary waypoint will be created 10 miles prior to powder with a hard altitude of flight level 210. The temporary waypoint will be labeled as a PD waypoint, where P stands for place and D stands for distance. A temporary waypoint can also be created by clicking anywhere on the INAV map. This function can be useful when navigating around weather, airspace, or traffic. Simply click anywhere on the INAV map and select Direct 2. A temporary waypoint will be created defined by the latitude and longitude. Click on Activate to fly directly towards the fix. Temporary waypoints will be deleted once the active flight plan is deleted. Pilot entered waypoints saved to the custom database can be deleted by accessing the avionics window in the Systems MFD and selecting the Custom Database tab. Pilot entered waypoints saved to the custom database will be shown in the Pilot Waypoints field. To delete a waypoint from the custom database, click on the waypoint and push the Delete button on the MFC. To delete all the waypoints in the custom database, Click on Delete All Pilot Waypoints 